Today we're doing a bypass barn door installation for a laundry closet. Always make sure to mount your hardware directly into studs. If the pre-drilled track holes don't line up with the studs, you'll want to mount a header board above your doorway. We mounted a header board for added stability. First, we measured the distance from the floor to the center point of where our track will be mounted. Next, we used a level to draw a horizontal line along the length of our header board. We then measured, marked, and drew a second and third line parallel above our first line. These lines indicate the height of the bypass brackets. We then placed our track on the first line and marked the location of our spacer holes. Using a level, we marked the points on our second and third line directly above our marks on the first line. This will tell us where to mount the bypass brackets. We then drilled the pilot holes at the marked points along our lines. We slid the door stop onto the end of the track and mounted the track with a wall spacer between the track and the wall. We then mounted the first part of the bypass bracket above the track at the pre-marked locations. We attached the second part of the bypass brackets with the bracket connecting screws. Using a speed square, we plumbed the brackets and tightened the lag bolts using a socket wrench. We now have our inside track and bypass brackets installed. We then mounted the outside track to the bypass brackets using the spacers and bracket and track screws. Now it's time to mount the hangers to the door. First, we measured and marked the locations of our drill holes. Then we placed the hanger on the door, securing it with a clamp, and drilled the holes. Inserting the hex bolts from the back of the door, we fastened the hanger by tightening the acorn nut on the front of the door. We then mounted the anti-jump pads to the top of the door next to the hangers. After hanging the door, we adjusted and tightened the door stops at the locations where we want our doors to stop. We then plumbed the doors, marked the location of the floor guide, and mounted it to the floor. The guide ensures that the door won't sway when rolling along the track. And this concludes our bypass barn door installation. If you have any questions, give us a call or send us an email.